Hello, welcome to Easter Monday. This is Vicki and this will be an active aging workout. We're calling it S3, which stands for Sweat, Strength, Stretch. So we'll be doing those in packets of about three minutes each. Three minutes of cardio, that's the sweat part. Three minutes of strength work. If you have hand weights, use them. If not, it's okay. And then three minutes of stretching or yoga poses. So we'll be doing those, that makes a little block of nine. So we're going to go a little over today. We usually do, I usually do 30 minutes. This will be about 45 minutes, really about 42 to be exact. But um, just be ready for that. So welcome, uh, just introducing myself and the workout as we're waiting for some people to tune in. Maria has already shown up. Hi, Maria. Um, so as I've done these, uh, this week I posted my intended schedule and you would think that we're not that busy right now, that nothing could interfere with the schedule, but something already has. So I'll be reposting my new schedule. Hey, Maria, Mary, Cynthia, so glad you guys are joining. So um, today, Active Aging S3 Sweat Strength Stretch. We'll be rotating through those three things for about 45 minutes. So it's a little longer workout today. If you need to leave at the 30 minute mark, you will only do, uh, I think, three of the four rounds that I've got planned. Um, and you'll still be, you'll be good to go. You can cut out if you need to, no problem. I will be leaving this up on my Facebook page just for a little while so that people can use it again. In fact, you're gonna need to use it on Wednesday if you wanna redo this class again on Wednesday because Wednesday I'm tapping out. I'm not gonna be able to get to a workout um, helping my son move. So uh, I won't be able to uh, meet you guys on Wednesday, but you can pull this one up again or any of the workouts that are on my Facebook page, just scroll down and you will find some of the past workouts. Um, the ones that are listed as Tabata are obviously a little tougher or a lot tougher. Um, for those of you who need the chair or need some extra support or just a lot more modifications, keep looking for the active aging workouts. So uh, we'll be starting here in about a minute. Got a lot more people tuning in. Marilyn, Elizabeth, hey Surridge. Good morning to you too. Glad you're able to tune in every now and then, check it out. Um, I know I've got, uh, I've got a couple fr young friends who are at UTA, they are international students. And uh, you can imagine if those of you who uh, have kids of your own and know what it's like when you can't be near them and imagine if your child was all the way across, you know, the world um, in this situation. So. Our hearts go out to them. All right, so quick introduction again. This is our active aging workout. A chair is handy. Those of you who want to can use it. Uh, you don't have to use it, although for chest day, if you want to do it for chest slides, go ahead. Um, chair is helpful. Hand weights are also helpful, but if you don't have hand weights, you don't have to use them. So once again, S3, sweat, strength, stretch. So we'll be doing about three minutes of each and uh, very simple to follow. So the idea is to get your heart rate up, get the cardio going on the sweat part. The strength is more strength, more muscle work. Um, and then the stretch is more yoga-like. So I'm gonna go a little over today. It'll be more like 45 minutes, 42 to 45 minutes. If you need to cut out early, you only do three rounds of the work, which will be about a half an hour. You can cut out early and you'll be just fine because it ends on that stretch part. Um, and I will go over my, my schedule has changed. I will not be here on Wednesday, but you can pull up this workout again or any of the other workouts. So Eli, Myla, Landis, so glad so many of you are checking in. I'm gonna start the music and we're gonna begin right away. And so what we'll do is kind of bring up the intensity as we go, if that's good. I'm gonna turn on the music. And we begin with a nice high knee march. So get those knees up. It can be slow. In fact, right now, if you want, give it a little extra squeeze. It helps release the low back and the glutes, okay? 
nice high knees. Remember, those of you who need it can be in the chair. All right, gives you nice back support, hip support, knee support, ankle and foot support. Good, now let's march a little faster. Nice high knees. Good, I'm gonna get in front of the chair. No, I'm gonna get behind, because that way you can see maybe better. You're gonna step touch, step touch. Now you could do this in the chair, you don't have to stand up. Step, touch, step, touch. Good. So we've done very basic, kind of low intensity right now. Let's take it up a notch, high knees up, a little harder, a little faster. Get the heart rate up. If you're able, reach way forward, get the shoulders involved. Notice my hands are not clenched in a tight fist. Good. Those who want to, even higher. Really reach. Now, step tap. Nice. If your shoulders hurt and you wanna do the arms in front instead of overhead, you're welcome to. Good. Now, we're gonna try double tap. Step together, step tap. Step together, step tap. If you want a little more, sit in a little mini squat. Could you do this seated? Maybe not the double, but you could keep doing the step tap. Good. Last time, march. All right, back to your high knees. All right, if you have room to move, you're gonna join me. If not, just stay with the high knees. So I'm gonna march forward, double step, backwards. I'm making a box. So I'm marching forward, step together, step tap, march back, two, three, four. If you don't have room to move, just march in place, then step tap in place, then march in place. If you're in the chair, you're doing that same thing, in place. Go. Last time in that square, And march again. Good job. Take it wide. Let's just roll those shoulders. Take a deep breath. All the way out. Good. Do you have water handy? Grab that water now. I'll be off camera. <laughs> Sip that water. Beautiful. If you have hand weights, grab them now. No, we don't need the hand weights, my bad. We're gonna work legs. We're gonna do some abductions and squats. So if you're in the chair, your abductions could be here. Or step out and in, all right? When we get to squats, this is Buddy. This is my son's dog. You squeeze and release the bottom, okay? Or transfer weight, okay? So if you're gonna stay in the chair, those are your, when I say squats, these are your squats. Transfer weight, or just squeeze and release. The rest of us, we either stand up, sit down, or just squat in place. All right, everyone, starting with your right leg, it's my left. You may sit, just as I showed you, side leg lift, up and down. Now some of you don't need to hold on, then don't, okay? Try not to lean into it, it's too much. Good. By the way, if you have those tubes at home, you could do this with the tubes. You know what to do. Without lifting the leg, you'd be stepping out instead. Yeah. Good. Leave it up. Lift and lower. Eight, seven, six, standing like a sock. Four, three, two, squats. As deep as you dare. Now remember, you can stand up and sit down in the chair. Hi, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> He's lonely. All right, we're going to the other leg soon. Not yet. If you can overhead press. Down, up. Don't have to reach overhead. If you have high blood pressure, it's making you dizzy. Please keep your arms below the heart. Good. Two more. 
All right, we're going to the other leg. Side leg lift, lift, lower. Lift, lower. Remember, if you're in the chair, you're leaning back with the leg out to the side and forward or stepping out. Keep going. If you don't have to hold on, don't. Your balance does not get better if you don't work on it. Standing legs soft. Yeah. Try not to lean into it too much. Great job. Leave it up and pulse. Eight, seven, you can do this in the chair. Four, three, back to those squats. Yeah. Remember your options for squats. You don't have to stand up, sit down. You can sit in the chair, transfer weight, or squeeze your glutes. Buddy sees something outside. Good, add a little calf raise. Woo, you can do that seated too. Just lift your heels. Good. Good, everyone down. Tap out, in, out, in. If you have water, I'd love for you to get it and get a little sip, okay? Perfect. Good. Shoulder roll. I'm gonna demonstrate the next piece in the chair. You are so welcome to stand up if you prefer. Take a deep breath. Wiggle those toes a bit, especially if your heart rate's still way up there. Take your palms forward. I want you to lightly pull your shoulders back and down. Make your neck as long as you can. Sit up as tall or stand up as tall as you can. If you're standing, I need you also to be in, aware of softening through the knees. Tip forward about 45 degrees with a straight back. Lift the arms back slightly, open the chest. I'd love for you to squeeze your shoulder blades together a little tighter. Exhale. Awesome. When you feel the need to take a deep breath, do it with the arms lifting as you inhale. Exhale, pull your shoulders down, keep the fingers spread apart and open. Lifting through the fingers, shoulders down. You're gonna lean to your right, my left. Yeah. Notice my hand came down to the side to support my back. If you have bad shoulders, reach across instead of overhead. If you have really uh, good core strength or you wanna improve your core strength, take that opposite arm reach it forward. If this is too much for you or your back, keep your hands supporting your back. Reach a little further. Inhale up. Exhale to the other side. Exhale, reach. Relax to the neck a bit. Let the weight of the head pull you. Inhale, reach. Remember those who want that little extra something, reach the bottom arm forward. Keep both uh, butt cheeks <laughs> on the chair. Okay, you want to lift up that one side, don't do it. Root yourself if you're seated. If you're standing, both feet nice and firm into the floor, knees soft. Inhale up. If you can keep your arms up, exhale, come forward. If your shoulders need it, bring the arms down by the hips again. So once you see what I'm doing, take your gaze on the floor in front of you about three feet. Shoulders down, fingers long. Inhale back up. Hands to the heart. Twisting to one side. If you're standing, make sure your knees are not twisting. Keep your knees soft. Twist from the waist. Inhale to center. Exhale to the other side. Keep your breath. On your next exhale, come back center. Inhale up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Lead with your chest, sticking that heart out. Fold forward as far as you wanna go. If you have a bad back, you're stopping mid-thigh with the hands, especially if you're standing. 
fold forward. Come up to a half monkey. So I'm going to come to my hands mid thigh, squeeze my elbows together in the back, shoulders down, arch the back gently, chin up. If you're standing, yours looks more like this. Okay, maybe your hands are lower on the shins. And coming back to center. Awesome, we're going back to cardio. If you need a quick sip of water, grab it. So, three moves this time, about 30 seconds each. 30 seconds, fast feet. Could you do it seated? Go. Yeah, I can do it seated. Can you take it wide? Out, in, out, in. You could do this in the chair. Yeah, you're not done. Same place, same time. Go to a kick. Reach forward, trying to stay upright. Could you do it seated? Yes, yes. Touch as far down the leg as you can without rounding your back to do it. Could you move faster than I am? Yes. Slower than I am? Yes. Just keep moving for 30 seconds. Yeah, my heart rate's up. How about yours? Elbow to knee. Seated or standing. Get those knees up. Up. If you can bring them across, you get a nice little stretch in the hip. If that hurts your hip, doing the knees dead ahead is fine. You could do this seated. Here we go, we're going back to the top. Fast feet. Get down, low. Come on up. Take it wider. Bring it in. Can you come forward and back? Even a little bit. Forward, back, forward, back. Wide. Four, three. Give me kicks. You could go slower if you need to. Hip height if you can kick that high. Higher if you can. Now, if you have good shoulders and you want a little more, wing them around. Lots more effort, bigger intensity. If it's too much, don't do it. <laughs> what? Just keep moving. If it gets to be too much, back off, but don't stop completely. At least march or wiggle your toes. Elbow to knee. Why? And bring that knee across. Could you go faster? Sure. You want a little bounce to it? I'm not actually leaving the floor. My toe stays down. I'm just lifting my heel. Heart rate up. Mine's up. March. Take a deep breath. Good job. Get those hand weights. Sip of water if you can. Good. You're gonna turn the knees and toes out. You can do this seated. We're gonna do chest presses. Chest. Now, those of you who have bad shoulders, you're just pressing the weights together and releasing. Press, release. Those who don't have weights, press the hands. Press hard, then relax, okay? The further away from the body your arms are, the harder it is. So if you have weights and you need to be closer, be closer. Yeah. Fingers relax. Fingers relax. Now, bicep curls. Alternate knee lifts. You could do this seated. Absolutely. You could go slower than I am or faster. Good. Fingers are relaxed. All right. 
We're going to do lateral raises, alternate, stepping forward and back. Even if you're seated, you can tap forward. Those who want a little more, make it more of a light lunge. Not enough time to make it deep. If this is too much for your shoulders, you may do a different shoulder exercise. Maybe arms straight with arms in little circles, right? You hold the weights, don't squeeze them. Or if you're not using weights, same thing. Your fingers are not squeezed in a tight little ball. Good, two more. You're gonna step it wide, chest. Boom. I'm squeezing my glutes, releasing. I'm also squeezing in the chest muscles. If the arms get too tired, press release in the chest right there. You can do it without weights. If you're seated, you can squeeze that bottom as you press. Keep it wide if you can. If it hurts your hips, knees dead ahead. Biceps! I'm incorporating the legs. If you're getting winded, Uncomfortably so, take the legs out, just do the arms. You got it. Back to lateral raises, lunge forward or just step forward, okay? It doesn't have to be deep. In fact, it probably shouldn't be. We're, not move we're moving pretty quick for that. Your wrist should be neutral, okay? If you're doing this, the weights are too heavy for you. Good. Last two. Good. Have a seat, tap the toes. While you press in the chest, press, release. Press, release. Great, take a sip of water, set the weights aside, maybe not in that order. Okay, get your sip of water. Good. All right. I'm gonna show seated. Those of you who know a warrior two can go right to it standing. We're gonna turn one leg out to the side, take the other leg back as far as it goes. Okay, those of you who are really tall, you're still trying to straighten this leg somewhat, not lock it. So if you have to kind of go at an angle to get it straight, then do so. Now lift your body high, shoulders down. Good. This is your warrior two in the chair. Those who want to do it up can do it up. Shoulders down. Now gently squeeze those shoulder blades together and press the shoulders down some more. Take a breath. Good. You're going to shift toward that front leg and now lift that arm up, especially if you're standing. Keep the back knee soft. Try not to lean on that leg. Open the ribs in the front. So if my left leg, it's my left, your right. My left leg is front, my left arm is up. Good. Scrunch up your toes, open and close a few times. Good, then relax the feet. Let that front arm come down, back arm lifts. If it's too much for your shoulders to lift up, just take that hand on the opposite shoulder. Open the ribs, lift the ribs away from the hips. Some of you can sink deeper in the lunge. Reach and breathe. Good. We're gonna switch to the other side. Being careful, if you're on carpet, you might have to pick your feet up. Don't just try to slide them around. Once again, if you're in the chair, here it is. If you're feeling joint pain in your hips, knees, or back, you're probably trying too hard with your legs. Let your body rest in the chair some more if you need to. Those of you who want to and can, you're doing it up. Chest forward, shoulders down. Feel the energy, reach through the fingers. Reach forward over that front leg and let that hand fall, arm comes up. Reach, lift those ribs. If the shoulder is tired, just let it rest on the opposite shoulder. 
big breath. Can you reverse it? Really lift the ribs. Once again, if it bothers your shoulders, let that arm rest on the opposite shoulder. Make sure you're not putting pressure with this rear hand on a straight knee. Keep the knee soft. The hand should be well above the knee. Beautiful. And release. Being careful to bring the legs together. Picking up the feet. Holding a chair pose. Your hands can come heart center. So I'm doing, it's like a mini squat, okay? You should be able to see your toes. Those who can't or don't want to do that, you're in the chair pushing into your feet. Maybe you lift your bottom off the chair, but maybe you don't. Good, everyone lifting up, whether you're seated or standing, arms come up and exhale. Back to cardio, sip of water if you need it first. All right, your right leg, my left leg, knee drive for 30 seconds. Go. Drive that knee as fast and furiously as you can go. Yours might not be as fast. Could you do it seated? Oh yeah. In fact, if you want a little more, turn in the chair so you can take that leg behind you a bit. Go. Get that weight on that floor leg. Sit down in it for more intensity. Yeah. Good. Here we go. Jacks. Good. If you're seated, same thing. Jacks here or here. Okay. You want more intensity on your jack standing? Give it a little skip or alternating little mini squats with a little skip in the middle. Not high impact, mid. You're not done. Good. We're going to the other leg. Knee drive. Go. Go. Drive it as fast and as furiously as you want. But get the knee up. Up. You want more intensity? Sit deeper in it. Keep your chest up. You want even more? Get the shoelaces up. Really pull it through. Get the heart rate up. You need more intensity. Get those arms above the head. Back to your jacks. Good. So we get step touch, jacks. I showed you in the chair. You could do this little skip. You could do this, right? Yeah, you could. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Heart rate up. Keep your heart lifted. Don't let the heart point to the floor. Good, back to the original knee. Yeah, keep it, come on. Keep your chest lifted. Try not to lean too far forward, okay? Good. You can go faster if you want. Come on. Arms bigger if you need more intensity. Are you good? Keep the arms down then. Yeah, we're going right to the other leg. We go. Come on. Arms wherever you like. You need balance? Hold on. You can do this in the chair. You want more intensity? Get the knee way forward. Shoelaces up. You feel a nice stretch in the glutes. Fast or slow. Check yourself. Are you bending over? Keep your chest up. Breathe. You can do this slower. Oh yeah. Good. Lift your heels. If you have hand weights handy, pun intended, grab your hand weights. Get a sip of water. Got it. All right. If you're seated, slight lean forward, we row. Squeeze your back. Fingers relaxed, okay? If you're standing and you want a little more, tap back. Tap back. You gotta stand off to the side, you don't tap into the chair. It could be a mini lunge back. 
but I want you to focus on squeezing your shoulder blades together. You need to work those posture muscles. So I'd rather you do that than focus on legs. Fingers relaxed, not too tight. Squeeze your back. Oh yeah. Good. Come on, really squeeze your back muscles. Don't be shy. Good. We're doing calf raises. Rotator cuff. Rotator. If your shoulders hurt, do a different exercise. Good. Up on those toes. Lift your heels. If you're seated, put some weight on the toes. Good. Keep going. Fingers are not squeezed. Keep on up, keep it up, keep going. Hey, Scott, Julie, Sharon, Vicki, you're welcome. You keep going. Good. We're going back to, to leaning forward if you're seated. Tricep kickbacks. I'm turning to the side so you can see. If you're standing, split stance like this will protect your back. Okay? Straighten the elbows, bend the elbows. Okay? Do not swing your not shoulders aren't moving. Your arms should not look like this. Okay? Straighten the arms high as you can. Squeeze those triceps, not the hands. Shake it up, baby. Keep your neck long. Come on, come on, come on, baby. We're going back to the row. If you're seated, you're rowing seated. Those who want to, add a little step forward. You could even do that seated, little tap forward. It's a littlest lunge if you want it, you don't have to. Squeeze your back. You could do this without the elbows moving. Squeeze it, release, okay? That's where the motion is. Think posture. Good, calf raises, rotator. Fingers are relaxed. Squeeze those glutes. Why not? Keep moving. I'm checking my time. Good. Good. Tricep kickbacks. Showing you from the side. We're almost there. Come on, squeeze those triceps. Right there. Set the weights aside, y'all. Sip of water. We're going to stretching again. Good, good. All right, horse stance. Some call it goddess, some call it turned out squat. Okay, if you're seated, it's here. And open. Okay, thinking of opening the hips, drive the knees back. You could do it standing with a nice soft bend in the knees so that you can drive the knees back. Some of you might get even as low as thighs parallel to the floor, but try not to lean forward. Try to stay upright, shoulders over hips. Good. If you're standing, five point star, straight arms, straight legs. If you're seated, a little tougher to straighten the legs. You could, if you want, dig your heels in and straighten them or just relax the legs. Everybody's nice and long through the spine, shoulders down, breathe. Good. Inhale up, soften the knees as you swan dive forward and fold forward as far as your body wants to go. So if you're in the chair, your knees are nice and wide, your hands are anywhere but the kneecaps, Okay, folding forward. Just a note, those of you who have high blood pressure or vertigo, or maybe you're just congested, you might wanna keep your head above the heart instead of dropping the head down. Unroll your body wherever you're at. Rise back up to your goddess pose. Shoulders over hips, squeeze the shoulder blades back and down. Good. If you're able, alternate heel lifts as you breathe. Relax through the neck and shoulders. OK? 
okay? Awesome. If you're able to do both heels up, try it. Both heels down, turn your heart to one side. Slowly to the other. Soften through your tailbone if you're standing. Back to center. Five point star. Inhale up. Trying to find my middle here. Swan dive forward. Unroll slowly. <sighs> Get some water. Okay, so those of you who wanted that 30 minute workout, you did it, right? So, those who can do one more bonus round, let's go ahead. Good, I'm gonna squat with a knee lift. Squat with a knee lift. If you're in the chair, squeeze your bottom, knee lift. Squeeze, knee, got it? Or transfer weight. You can rock forward and back. Squat, knee. Yeah. Uh-huh. Remember, squat is your butt back, not your knees forward. Good. You could go faster than I am. If it's not good enough for you, faster if you want. Good. Jump rope. Could you do it seated? In fact, if you're seated, you could jump. You don't have to. You like rope tricks? You'll never miss with air rope. Backwards. All right, y'all. Listen up, if you're in the chair, all you're gonna do is march. If you're standing, give me hand curls, okay? If you need to, you could get behind the chair to do it. I'm turning to the side. Hand curls look like that. My knees stay down. Don't let them come up. Heel to the butt. Good. Harder to do in the chair, so you're just marching or high knee, okay? Good. Good. One leg only. Eight, seven. Change sides, change sides. Your knee, hip, and toe point to the same direction. Alternate. Good. Back to your squat with the knee. Here we go. Remember in the chair, you don't have to stand up, sit down. Yeah. Adding the arms adds intensity. If it's too much, don't do it. If you need back support, the hands are mid-thigh. Never the kneecaps. Four more, three more, two more. You're gonna go to jump rope, jump rope. Good, you wanna go faster, you go faster. Slower, slower, this is your workout. No one can see you. Reverse your jump rope. Good morning, good morning. Hey Peg, Sarah, Vicky, keep going. Now remember, if you're in the chair, you might wanna just march or tap to the side. Those of us who are standing are doing hand curls. Heel to the back side of the body, knees down, if you want. Add the arms overhead, you don't have to. Get back here, so you will see a little better. Squeeze the back. One leg, eight, seven. Your knee, hip, and toe should always point in the same direction. Change sides. So turn it out a little bit. Squeeze through the back. Alternate. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Four, three. Squat with the knee lift. Yeah. Get some water. All right, if you can grab your hand weights, do it. All right, y'all, we're gonna march. You can do it in the chair. 
arms are at a 90 degree angle like this. Reach and pull. Okay, fingers relaxed. Sit up tall. The further away you reach, especially with hand weights, the harder you'll work. Okay, I'm in the chair. You can do it standing. Okay, if the weights are too much, put them down. Good. Notice when you reach away with weights, you feel those abs. Breathe. Good. We're going to lower the arms down by our side. Straight arm raised to the back. Raise. I'm tapping forward. If you're standing, you might want to tap back. Straight arm back. Straight arms back. I'll show you from the side. Straight. I'm tapping back or lunging back. A mini lunge. Good. So everybody's got options. You can sit. Keep the neck long. Lift the arms as high as you can. I need my cheat sheet. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah. Two more. Good. Hold the weights at the chest. Curtsy lunge. If you're seated, you're crossing in front instead of in back. Okay? Crossing back. Good. Those of you with strong shoulders, you can hold the arms up, especially with weights. This gets a little challenging. Don't have to. Keep going. Keep going. Remember, those who are seated right here. Crossing in front is a little easier than crossing back in the chair. Good. March. Reach and pull. You could do it standing or seated. Reach, pull. My fingers are relaxed, but I do want to keep my fingers closed over the weights, okay? Forgive me every now and then I forget, and I'll open my hands. I don't want you to do that. It, you can risk dropping it. <laughs> All right, sit up taller, sit up taller. Four more, three more, two. Arms straight, lifted, straight back. Tap forward if you're in the chair. If you're standing, tap back. Mini lunge back if you want, if you're standing. Good. Yes, you may stand up, lunging back. Straight arms, can you get them higher? Come on, come on, you made it this far. You made it this far. Two more. And one, hold the weights at the chest. Curtsy lunge, I'm crossing back if I'm standing. I'm crossing front if I'm seated. Squeeze the inner thighs together. Squeeze them. Nice. If you want a little more, you're here. Oh, we ran out of music. Set the weights aside. <coughs> Sip of water. Good, good. Before coming to the chair, those who are standing, try a little balance work. Shift your weight to one foot. You can keep the other on the floor. You could also stand by the chair for balance. Take it up as high as you want to go and just try your balance. Seated, same thing. Try your balance. If you're feeling really good today and you want to challenge, pass those hands in front of your eyes. And we'll try the other leg. Remember, 80-20 is still balance work. So if you leave one leg on the ground, you need it for that balance point. Put most of your weight on the other leg. Still balance. Leg as high as you want. Sitting up tall, standing up tall. With or without holding on. For the extra challenge, waving those arms in front of your eyes. Or even harder, try closing your eyes. Let's have a seat. Take your right leg and cross it in front of the left at the ankle or at the knee. Sitting up tall, twist and look over your shoulder as deep as you can while lifting the spine and breathe.
through sides. Notice we're there at least four breaths, maybe five. So take your time with it. Deepen the stretch as much as you're able in the twist and in the lift. Dropping the shoulders down, neck long. again. Legs in front of you, straight-ish. I need a little bend in the knee. Dig your heels in to the floor, sitting up tall, and then fold forward. Once again, keeping your head above the heart, especially if you have vertigo or high blood pressure. If you're able to fold forward, fold forward, and remember not to put pressure on your knees. So feel the stretch. Let your head be a little bit heavy if you're able to drop your head. Let the spine stretch out. And then everybody come up about halfway. Your hands are anywhere but the kneecaps. And see if you can lengthen those legs a little more, lifting your tailbone a bit. Pull your shoulder blades back. Maybe lift the chin a bit. And settle back in the chair. Cross one ankle above the other. Let it fall open, stretch that hip. Those of you who can do more, try picking that leg up or leaning forward over it with a straightish back, okay? If you sit back on your tailbone and round your back, you're not getting the stretch I want you to get. One more breath. Let's switch sides. Listen, it's okay if just crossing this is too much, right? You want, you want to have a place to go and stretch. If this is way too much, I should have shown you on the other side, but by now maybe you know. You can just put that foot down the, on the floor and open up the knee. Open up that hip. Fold forward if you want or pick up that shin. Settling back in the chair. Opening through the chest, just squeeze your shoulder blades. Shoulders down, chin up. And then reach forward, open the shoulder blades, drop your chin down. Breathe. On your next exhale, take the arms overhead. Inhale, reach. Exhale, push those arms down and release the body to the chair. Relaxing through the body, I want you to just wiggle those toes a little bit and then relax the feet. I want you to pay attention to your feet. If you need to close your eyes, go ahead or drop your gaze. Notice your feet. Now notice your ankles, shins and calves. Pay attention, both knees, front, back, insides. Moving your attention to your thighs and your hamstrings, top of the legs, behind the legs, all around. Moving the attention to the hips, pelvic floor, your glutes, nice and relaxed now. And then just moving the attention up the torso, the spine, the chest, and down each shoulder, down the arms, to each fingertip, even your thumb. Returning the attention to your neck and head. Let's take in a nice deep breath as if you're drawing the breath in from your feet all the way up. Exhale the hands to your heart. That was sweat, strength, stretch. Wow. We had a bonus round today as well if you were able to stay with me. So once again, if you missed the um, announcement at the beginning of the workout, I will post this on my page at the end. But uh, Wednesday, I'm going to have to tap out. I'm going to be 
uh, helping my son move, so I will not be able to do a workout with you, but I have plenty on my webpage. You could do this one again on Wednesday, is what I'm suggesting you do. If not, pick any of the others. Remember, the active aging ones, use the chair. They offer a lot more options. Um, the Tabata or circuit training ones are more intense. They offer options, but maybe not all the way to a level one type option. So, hope you have a wonderful Monday. Signing off.